So I'm just going to wait and hang out for a bit until people start joining. Uh, when you do find the video and you've joined, comment and say hi. Hello. <laughs> Yeah? Are you still? Uh-huh. I just let her in. Oh, wait, so the last time they painted it together. Okay. Oh, my mom and oh, Michelle. Oh, okay, all right. So yeah, she's in the group now. Mm. Should be able to watch. <clears throat> okay, still nobody watching. Okay, <clears throat> sign, er, sign on, say hi. Let me pull it up on my phone. Oops, my screen interrupted. Interrupted? Oh, now it says two people. Oh. Hi, Nancy. <gasps> Nancy! Can you Let me pull up. Joining? <gasps> oh, oh, that's my voice. Hi! Nancy and my mom. Hello. Okay, what? I'm surprised it still does not say who's watching on the computer, or how many people. Froze, Nancy said. Okay, let me just double check. Yeah, we're on the right. Okay, so, oh, I do see four people. What? Oh, five. Hi. If you're joining, comment and say hi so I know who's here. And talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Happy Friday, people. Woo. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. Okay. So I still see people are starting to log on. Um, I'm just going to give it another minute because it's not 7 o'clock yet. Just want to make sure people are finding the video. <coughs> okay. Hi, Patsy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, while we're waiting, I'm going to start. And Michelle. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> I'm glad you could join me. Okay, I'm going to start. Happy Friday. <laughs> okay, I love how people are already commenting. So, comment so I know who's here. I'll give you a shout out. I'll say hi. But it is 7 o'clock, so we're going to get started. Um, I'm sure people are going to keep on joining in. <laughs> hi, Michelle. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get started. Um, I'm going to give you kind of the lowdown on what happens here. So while I'm talking to you, feel free to like get all your materials out, get set up. But welcome to Creatively Uncorked. Um, my name is Maddie. I'll be teaching you this, wherever it is, tulips and boots painting. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. So a little bit about us. Creatively Uncorked popped its cork back in January 2014. Our studio is located in West Fargo, and it's ages six and up. Um, we do public and private events where we celebrate birthdays, bachelorette parties, corporate team building events, and now with the like, current circumstances, we do art kits to go. So if any of you are painting with art kits to go, comment, let me know. I like to see you know, who is painting with stuff from home and who's bought the art kits to go. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And then now we do the live paint alongs like this. So as of right now, we do live paint alongs every day. Mm -hmm, every weekday. Yeah, every weekday. And now and keep your eyes out. We're gonna start doing Saturdays after yeah, really soon. We don't know when. <laughs> um and then so we also do mobile events, so if you have a birthday, you want us to come to your neighbor's basement or your aunt's garage, we can do that because we like to party. So there's that. And then we have two rules for today. Um, rule number one, super easy, it's have fun. Yeah. Rule number two is a little bit more difficult. Um, it's no negativity. 
So if you are feeling a little bit negative or you have questions, that's what's nice about these live paint-alongs that you can comment and I can give you some tips and help you out. Um, so don't be afraid to comment if you have a question and if you need a little extra help, um, go ahead and like pour yourself a drink if you want <laughs> or turn on some music in the background so we can get into this happy painting zone. Um, and yeah, okay. So, and then our brushes. So, we treat our brushes like they're our babies, and we ask that you could treat your brushes like they're your babies. Like, let's take care of them. Um, so, if you've been to one of our events before, um, you might have done something called the Creatively Uncorked Brush Pledge. So, even though we're not together right now, we're together in spirit. And we're going to do the Creatively Uncorked Brush Pledge right now. So, I'll give you a second to grab your brushes, hold them in your right hand. Place them over your heart and repeat after me. I pinky promise. I pinky promise. To not let paint dry on my brushes. To not let paint dry on my brushes. I'll keep my brushes in my water cup. I'll keep my brushes in my water cup. But I'm not using them. I'm not using them. I'll do amazing today. I'll do amazing today. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so let me switch this. Okay. I also have grab a drink, Nancy says. <laughs> Oh, kidding along. That's the cutest saying I've ever heard. We're going to start like art kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Patsy, we get you. <laughs> um, my husband says hi from the recliner. <laughs> hi, husband. <laughs> um, okay, awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to get my paint palette set up. The last live, I don't know if you painted along with me on the last live, but I made a mess out of my palette so I'm going to try to do better this time. So I'm going to move my brighter colors to the side and these are the three colors that we need just for the background. So I'm going to scoop out some white. Maybe a little bit more. Um, silver. And I'm probably going to just do a little bit of brown for now. But I already have paint. If anyone's playing bingo, I already have paint on myself. So <laughs> mark your X's or whatever. <laughs> Brother Brennan says, hello, favorite sister. That's so sweet. I'm your only sister, but thanks. <laughs> Aw, so sweet. Okay. Tell Michelle, you should tell Brennan to paint along. <laughs> okay, and then I also have a pre-sketch canvas. So if you are not painting with an art kit, um, you, you might want to pre-sketch this <laughs> really quick. But that's what's nice about the art kit. So you get everything you need um, and a pre-sketch canvas. So I'm going to give you a second because maybe you all are still... I don't know, setting up your paper, your palette, but I'm going to open my drink. So cheers. Cheers. Che oh, hello. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. That tastes good. <laughs> okay. So, um, we're going to start with the background. I'm going to use a little bit more water in the background. Um, this way, mainly just so I can see my sketch through the paint. Usually we outline, or I guess I should say sometimes. Sometimes we outline the sketch in a Sharpie so we can see it through the paint, but since our paints are going to be so light, I think we won't have a problem. However, if you notice that your paint, and we'll drink, okay, I'll, I'll accept the drink along thing. <laughs> okay, um, so... If you notice that your paint is covering up your image, use less paint and use more water. So easy, easy fix. But I'm just going to dip into white, maybe add the tiniest amount of silver in it for the beginning part. And I'm just going to start painting. So white and silver for now. And I painted right over that and you can still see the line. So that is perfect. 
Have an issue. Got two kits and both had same, some shade of blue, so not sure which. Oh, phthalo blue. Oh, I guess I don't know if you can. So it's the deeper blue I would, I would use. But either way, I guess it probably won't matter because we're going to be, if you look up at this reference photo, Nancy, um, this one, there's no pure dark blue on it. So we're actually going to be mixing blue with teal. Good question. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use a little bit more silver into my white. And while I'm painting my background, I'm kind of doing like, ooh, I accidentally got brown. That's okay. Just add more white. So I'm kind of losing that flower right there. I'm just going to give it a second, finish like getting all the paint off my brush. Then I'm going to dip into the water and just add pure water right over the top of that paint. And you can see when I add water over the paint, it thins it out. So I see more people are starting to join in. Um, if you have any questions or you, I mean, I'm not very far. All I'm using is white and silver and covering the background. But if you have any questions, don't be afraid to comment. Um, I'm not going to paint over my boots. I'm actually going to wipe some of that off. If I accidentally go over the line, that's fine, but. And then the closer I get to the bottom, I'm going to start using more silver and more like a dot of brown. And notice I'm still using like those really messy brush strokes. I call them X's, even though they're not really X's. Okay, um, so once again, the closer I get to the bottom, I'm using less white, and I'm now I'm kind of using a little bit more silver. Don't forget to use water while you're painting. My water cup's right here. I've been so excited to paint this painting for the longest time and I also can't believe is it mid-May mm. well it's mid-May right it's mid holy oh duh oh, it's the 15th Corey's birthday was yesterday yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh okay <laughs> so mid-May can't believe it okay so I have um, the glare it might be a little hard to see but there's more gray closer to the bottom um, I am going to add a little bit of white just because I added too much water. It's kind of turning the paint transparent, but white will help kind of hide that. Um, and then I'm also going to add some brown, but I'm going to kind of paint some more silver first. Yeah, Nancy's birthday was Wednesday. Oh, Nancy! Happy late birthday! Oh my gosh. Cheers to Nancy. Happy birthday. Nancy. I don't know if you heard, Shanna also cheersed you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Two months. Holy guacamole. Okay, so I added some more silver at the bottom and I'm gonna dip like a tiniest, the tiniest amount of brown in. And I'm just gonna start um, adding this brown paint into the background and it kind of makes this nice grayish um, I don't know what taupe looks like but I always say it it's taupey it is, taupey. It is? Yep. okay that's what I thought I thought it was gonna be like a grayish brown yeah, like a light grayish brown, yeah. yeah. so adding some br some brown into my background um, can't really see my boot, so I'm going to dip into my pure, just pure water, and I'm going to wipe over those lines so I can see that. So it's kind of like a little eraser. <laughs> and then that's too much water on there, so easy fix, just pick up a paper towel. 
wipe it off. Now I can see those lines. Um, I want a little bit more brown into my background. Um, and I do have, <clears throat> and I kind of like this. So once again, this is your, or once again, I always say this, but it's your painting. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I am adding more brown towards like the left side and the bottom. Maybe dip into some, it's getting a little darker over here, so I'll just dip into pure white. But um, I'm gonna be done with my background. Now we can add the brown a little bit. We'll make our the shadow underneath the boots later. But I think I'm gonna call it on the background because I wanna spend more time working on the boots and the flowers. Um. So, Michelle, are you painting from home, or are you and my mother together? <laughs> painting together. Um, okay, so I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Also, does somebody want to comment and tell, let me know, did you paint inside the boots, or did you avoid painting inside the boots? Because I mentioned how I was painting around it, I accidentally painted inside of it um, in some spots, but I think I'm going to just let this dry for like a couple minutes and then we will paint, um, we'll start with painting the boots. But, um, okay, so I'm going to talk to you about the, okay. With your mama, yes, party. Cheers to that. <laughs> okay. But um, for the people who are painting along, I know I asked, let's see, so Nancy said art kit. Patsy said art kit. Okay, just a little in the boots, okay. Awesome. So then I think we will go on and paint inside the boots in like a minute or two. But if you want to see what comes in an art kit, hello at this. Oh, that looked purple. Um, okay. So this is what a new package of brushes look like. Um, if you ordered used brushes, they probably look like these. I also have a filbert brush right there, so the rounded tip. Um, <laughs> okay, never mind. I was going to bring up bingo again. This looks, hmm, okay. So you get the written instructions, and then the instructions, depending on the painting, will have, um, it'll say video instructions down here, and it'll have a link that you can go and watch. Um, and then a pre-sketch canvas like this one and all the paints you need to complete the painting. But, so that's what comes in an art kit. Um, let's see. And then who's excited for the Saturday live paint alongs? I am. <laughs> <clears throat> and just think how nice it will be to like just order an art kit, take it to the lake or wherever. I'll be watching from the lake. Yeah. I, I don't know if you heard that, but Shanna said she'll be watching from the lake. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you could take it to the lake, you know, after spending a long day at the sandbar or on the pontoon, you come inside and paint along yep. at four, or we don't know what time it will be at. Probably seven. Seven, seven o'clock-ish. Gosh, sounds like a, the best summer of my life. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start painting. Also, let me know if I'm going too fast. 
But um, I'm going to start painting the boots now. And the first thing that we're going to do is kind of outline the boots. However, we're going to be mixing teal, like we'll probably only be using a dot of dark blue or a dot of blue. So where do I want to, let's put blue next to my brown because we're going to be mixing brown. Oh, I also brought the original right here. So we're going to be mixing brown and blue to create this dark color um, for the bottom of the boots. But you can see that n there's no pure blue in this painting. So it's kind of more like an aqua color where we mix the teal and the blue together. Oh, Nancy works on Saturday. At 7? Oh, at 7? Go. So you need to... <laughs> Okay, that's actually very true. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so blue and teal. Blue, and I'm putting the teal right by the blue. I'm going to keep some for later. Um, so we are going to outline the boots first. And then we'll probably do the base coats of the flowers and the leaves and stuff. And then we're gonna go back and when we paint the entire boot, I'm gonna be real with you guys, we, we kinda have to paint fast. So it's gonna be hard, but we're gonna try. Oh, she's done. Oh, she's done at four. Whew, close one. <laughs> but we're gonna try to paint this fast um, because then the colors are gonna be able to blend nicely together. So. We're going to try to avoid being like perfectionists, I guess, um, so that we can achieve like the nice blended rubbery boot look, I guess. Um, but so I'm going to mix blue and teal to make an aqua color. Kind of matches this tablecloth. Look at that. Okay. Um. Oh, my gosh, she has two blues in hers. They oh, exactly the same. wait, that was uh, earlier. Oh, okay. I told, I don't, I guess, yeah, okay. Wait, two blues and one kit? <laughs> or did she order two paintings? I'm wondering if she got it. Okay. So, yep, I'm mixing turquoise and blue, getting this aqua... I don't know if this is aqua, but we're calling it aqua. Um, and I'm going to start outlining it. However, we want like a nice fine outline because if you outline this with a really thick line, you're gonna, it's going to kind of look cartoonish. Um, and we want to, I guess, avoid that. So um, after I mix my paint, you can see my bristles are kind of like spread out and th a little like thick, I guess. So to get rid of this, all I'm going to do is kind of swipe my paintbrush and flip it on my paper towel. I call them X's. Once again, it doesn't really look like an X, but... And then now if you look at it, it's nice and compressed. So even when I put paint on my brush, on my paper plate, I'm going to do my X's. So I'm going to smooth flip, smooth flip. Okay, so... For this outline, I'm going to start at the bottom of this little ledge on the boot. So the bottom and then in between the two boots. I'm going to do like a line down. Don't forget to use water. So this like vertical line down. Remember, try to keep it thin. If it does get thick on accident, at, on accident, you can we can easily paint over it. So don't, don't you worry. But um, I'm also gonna paint inside these little square things. So it kind of ran out of paint on the right one, so it looks a little lighter. And 
And then I'm not putting an outline um, on the right side of the boot, but I painted inside my lines a lot. So I'm gonna just quickly fix that um, by cleaning my brush. So you can hear I'm cleaning my brush in my water cup. I'm gonna dip into white paint and just add like a white line down the whole right side of the boot. This way it kind of covers up that dark silver that I accidentally painted. Okay, so now you can see the white. Um, I guess that step was optional. If you stayed outside of your boot, you probably don't have to do that. So, A plus. Good job. So I'm gonna keep on outlining my boot. So once again, and if you missed it the first time, I'm gonna mix teal. Might be a little too much water. Teal and blue. Um, we're not using pure blue. It's probably gonna be too dark for this painting. Um, and I'm gonna do a line and this line can be thicker because the, the left side, so if we look up at this reference photo, the left side of this boot is darker. So you don't have to worry it's too much about making that thin line. Um, and then I'm also going to add, we're on the struggle bus. You might need to slow down. Okay. <laughs> we have a lot to, oh my goodness, because you're my favorite people. I'll, I'll pause for a, a drink break, I guess. <laughs> Woe to me. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> Gosh, every time, every time I think I'm not going to like this drink, and I'm like, it tastes so good, so refreshing. I'm going to buy it. I always say I'm going to buy it, and I never do, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You both. Oh, Paige? She likes these, too. Yeah. No way. Yes. It's, it's so good. It's not carbonated like the others. Okay. Um, let me know what you're struggling with. <laughs> Maybe I can help you because that's what I'm here for. And yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move on, but let me know. Okay. Good talk. So I'm going to just outline the two lines on the, I guess, the soles of the boot. Um, if you want to achieve the thinner lines, um, just barely, like I'm not putting any pressure on my brush. Um, so yeah, do not push hard. If you push hard, you're going to get a thick line. Where did the white go? By the way, Brennan is talking because they're grind. I, what, what does that mean? <laughs> also, I put the white, so if you accidentally painted um, inside your lines like I did, I guess I'll show you again. Clean your brush, first of all. Pure white on my brush. And all I did was a swipe of white right up against my background inside my boot. Um, this way, when we add, because the right side of the boot is so light, when we add this, it'll be a nice highlight. And that was optional because my grayish brown color was so dark that I felt like the paint might not have covered it. So if you need to do that, you can. It was just an easy white like streak. Um, okay. So I'm going to do, we're going to paint in the bottom of the boots and then um, we're going to move on to the flowers. So let me know if I'm going too fast or if you have questions. But for the bottom of the boots, so this is going to be the darkest part of our whole painting, 
<clears throat> and it might look weird until we add the dark shadow under the boots too. So I'm just going to give you a heads up to just go with the flow. Um, but I'm going to be mixing blue and brown. Blue and brown. And if you add brown into the blue, it kind of makes this bluish color. So you have to add maybe a little bit more brown than blue to get that darker that darker color that we want. So you can see the difference. The more brown I add, it kind of gets it's almost a little green, but it's dark. Okay, so all I'm going to do, and I'm not going to worry about the, uh, what, what would you call these <laughs> little half circle shapes? Uh, the scallop shapes on the bottom? Scallop shapes, yeah. yeah Are I they know. like, okay. So we're not going to worry about these little scallop shapes until the end. So all I'm going to do is paint this dark blue, uh, bluish brown color underneath the boot. And try to keep this kind of thin. Otherwise, it might look a little bit like um, cartoonish, I guess. Okay. Okay, so how's it going? Am I, are we going at a good pace? <laughs> so I'm gonna start my flowers next. Um, just a heads up, I'll give you like a second uh, to catch up. But we're gonna start with like the base coats of the flowers. Um, and it's going to be kind of a lot of back and forth in between the boots and the flowers. So, so yeah, that was blue and brown. Yep, blue, phthalo blue and burnt umber. Mix them together. But Nancy, add more brown than blue. So you can see up here I had more blue than brown and it's this I guess it might be a little darker. It's like a darker blue. But we want this really, really dark color right here. So add more brown than blue. Okay. Cheers, people. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'll give you a second to get caught up. <laughs> I just saw your comment. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to move on. Are you recording this for later? Yes. It'll be in the live later, yep. It'll be in the live later, and then if you, if you ever have trouble finding this painting or any videos, they're always on our YouTube channel, right? Yeah, this, the lives will be on YouTube. Yep, so all the lives will be on our YouTube channel. Um, so you can search Creatively Uncorked on YouTube. I'll yeah. Post link here as soon as I find it. Okay. Show close up of your painting. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm hoping you're talking about the bottoms. So if you are losing track of like how many rows you have, so there's two. Um, what do we call it? Like blue, we'll call them teal rows. So there's two teal rows and then the very bottom row is going to be that very dark color. Um, and then this little, the heel of the shoe or its sole or whatever is going to be teal. And then we're going to add like the tiniest amount of the dark color over the top. Um, but yeah, so just one really long row and then half of a, this half row is also going to be teal. So, hopefully that helped. Let me know if you need me to do that again. Okay. So, 
So I'm going to get started on the flowers or the tulips and all we're going to do is like a base coat. Um, so I'm going to add some yellow to my plate. And, um, need to wash hands. <laughs> Who said, oh, tuck elbow in. Oh, okay, <laughs> been there, done that, I feel, or I, I get it, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> you learned from the best. Oh, <laughs> you talking about me? <laughs> of course. Or you. Do you do it too? Well, like all of us. Okay, that's I very know. true. Yeah. It it, are you really an artist if you don't stick your whole entire <laughs> arm in paint? <laughs> yeah. Or at least not painting. I've done it a lot more painting on the table because in our normal classes we paint obviously on this big easel. Um, but I'm going to move on now. So I have yellow and white. And I'm going to mix a light yellow color. I repeat, light yellow. So white plus yellow. Um, oh my gosh, I don't think this is the right yellow. <laughs> that came in the art kits. I just grabbed from the pile. <laughs> Is that oh, that's not the yellow that was in the arcade? No, because <laughs> I grabbed from the pile oh, of old paint. Warm yellow, right? I have no, it's chrome yellow, oh, chrome yellow. and I have warm yellow. Okay, there's gonna be a brief intermission. Oh, yay, Nancy! <laughs> well, good for you because I don't have the right paint. So, <laughs> gosh, is it amateur hour tonight? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Good thing I caught that. I should have told her to grab me another plate. Uh. Okay, I'm going to clean some of this off, actually. Oh my gosh, my lovely assistant, everyone. Thank you. Okay. Let me just test something really quick. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So, chrome yellow. So, this is all the paint that you have. Um, oh, that's not a lot of paint. Okay. So, no wasting paint here. So, once again, I'm going to mix white and yellow to make a light yellow. Don't you usually have two plates? <laughs> you know, I think... I do always usually make um, Shanna go grab me another one. I don't know why I don't just have two plates with me, but clearly, I guess I thought I was going to do better tonight with my palette. Um, <laughs> calling me out, Nancy. Love it. Okay, <laughs> but I have this light yellow color, and I'm going to start painting in all my petals. So, it's going to look like yellow blobs, and that's okay, um, because we are going to go in and define it with pure yellow, and we're going to mix white and yellow, or white. We're actually going to mix brown and yellow together. Um, to help define those petals also. Megan! Are you here? Or are you here? Oh, of course you're here. Are you painting along tonight? I have, look at us. We have all of our favorites. Yeah. In one video right now. Okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to keep painting my petals. And my, I'm using a square canvas this time, and the original one is on a rectangle one that doesn't fit under the camera. Um, so my 
flowers are arranged in a different way, and that's okay because none of our paintings are going to look exactly the same, and if they did, it would be boring. So. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to bring this a little further down. Um, and then another thing that I'm doing, because look at that. That is a yellow blob, and that's okay. Um, so one thing that I am doing is for this little line right here is going to be like the background petal. So it's honestly just like a little horizontal dash. And then this one we can't see. Okay, I don't like how, I'm gonna bring this petal down actually, or this flower. So one thing on this one is that we can't see the back, the background petal, so it's just gonna be this big oval shape. Um, so big oval shape. And then when we are defining the petals, then I'll go in and add some brown and some pure yellow. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep on filling in the base coat of all the flowers. And then we're gonna do the base coat of the leaf, or I guess we'll paint the leaves. So, <clears throat> how was everyone's week? <laughs> if anybody feels like they're caught up enough and they wanna comment, let's talk about something. <laughs> Shanna, how was your week? Do you even remember when Monday? Because I don't. Yeah. <laughs> a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Okay. Oh, it was Mother's Day. Well, that. Mother's Day weekend. Yeah. Weekend. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and we get another holiday coming up pretty soon. It's going to be Memorial oh. Day. We get a long weekend. True. Another long weekend. Oh my gosh. Why have I not planned something? Oh, because there's a pandemic going on. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Aww. <laughs> okay. We have a painting schedule that day. Do we? Yeah. <gasps> what painting? And who's teaching it? It's a uh, deer at sunset, and it's Grace. Oh, I love that painting. Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah, you should put a link. <laughs> okay, people. So, Grace, um, she teaches Monday classes. Where? Wait, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you've painted with her before, she made this new painting, and it's, I'm so ready to actually go out and see people. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. And so my boyfriend, Corey, he's like major introvert, and he said that when this is all over, he can't wait to go downtown to the bars. Mm -hmm. And he hates going downtown, so that was a surprise. <laughs> but I agree, Nancy. Um, but anyway, so this painting that Grace made, it's, um, like two, it's like a two deer. Whoa, are is deers? Is it deers? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. yeah. So at sunset. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's the coolest painting. It's the greatest painting. I love it. Huh. And that's on Memorial Day class. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So I have my base coat down. Let me know if I'm going too fast. I'm going to mix a green for the leaves. Um, okay, I like how this looks. Deer. <laughs> Nancy just said deer. That's so funny. Oh, she knows what she's talking about. That is sweet. Oh, yeah, isn't it? Okay. Um, whoops. Uh, if we're playing bingo, I dropped my brush on my canvas. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that counts, doesn't it? It does. Okay, I'll be at the farm. Oh. Bingo at least. 
Yeah, you should be. <laughs> um, farm with no internet. Yeah. I guess you could watch it like the next day or whenever you come home. Um, okay, but I'm mixing a green, so you can mix the dark blue with yellow to get this um, darker green. If you mix teal with yellow, you'll get a brighter green. So we might paint with that brighter green later, but for now it's just blue and yellow, and I have the darker green. <laughs> that is not a... Oh, it is a deer. It looks like a moose or something. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, got things on its head. it's got like the big insect sensors on its head. Yeah, I see that. And then on this one, on the computer, it, it looks like a, it's just the head. Oh. Yeah. So, wow. so weird how different it is. Okay. Um, but I have my green. I'm going to start painting my leaves. Um, to make the leaf shape or this pointy top, um, I lift my brush quickly, and that's how you get that nice, like, point. Um, I'm going to add two leaves here. Okay. Um, and then don't forget, okay, this brush is, so if you're using a used brush like this, sometimes the bristles, I don't know if you can see it, they come apart like this. So that means I need to do, I need to add more water and I need to do those X's on my plate. Just so I can compress all those bristles together and now I have like a nicer um, like tip, I guess. And this will be super handy for when you are painting the stems. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna paint all the leaves, all the stems. If they get thicker, like a little thick, that's okay. Um, because if we look back at this painting, you can't really see, I mean, I guess this, these two are the only ones that you can really see. So if anything ever gets a little thick or you, there's something you don't like, um, we'll be able to easily paint over it with like a flower or another leaf or something. So, we keep on painting these leaves. I love this painting. <laughs> this one's, yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see, do I wanna make that longer? Oh my gosh, this painting is so fun. <laughs> Look at me bragging. Okay, how are your leaves and flowers going? Because I feel like I haven't commented in a while. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Every time someone doesn't, con just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that could be the next bingo thing. <laughs> Every time someone doesn't comment, you have Because I feel like I ask questions, oh, I mean. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I feel like I ask questions mm -hmm. and <laughs> I mean, there might not be some comment. You're, I get it. You're all focused. Good for you. Um, I'm loving how this is turning out. What time is it? Okay. After, I'm going to speed it up a little bit for the leaves because this is just very, it's all very repetitive now. Um, another thing that I am going to do to make this, like, bouquet look a little bit more like full looking. I am honestly just going to paint in some green right at the bottom and it might not like connect to anything but when we add the daisies it's going to look oh Michelle okay <laughs> a dot of gr a dot of blue and then more yellow to get the green <laughs> Um, and Nancy, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> oh, so she doesn't stick her arm in it, probably. Oh, that's right? Smart. If that's if that's the reason why, Nancy, I get you. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
My phone is very warm right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, I'm trying to slow it down a little bit for the people who are still mixing green. Michelle. <laughs> um, n n I want to know, how are your paintings going, though? Yeppers. Oh, I knew it, Nancy. Great minds think alike. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on, though, so let me know if you're super against that, I guess. <laughs> and we're moving on to the boots, so it's going to... Oh, there's one more line that I forgot to have you all paint. <laughs> um, and it's not that big of a deal, but it's just this line right here. So if you're done painting your leaves, um, you can paint in this line. If you are not done painting your leaves, we can always paint in the line later too. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But since I'm waiting for you all, I'm gonna, or not, since I'm waiting for Michelle to mix her green. <laughs> Just kidding, I love you Michelle and my mom. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a little line right here. Woo, that got thick. Okay. Um, I'll probably end up painting over this line, actually, so it doesn't matter if you didn't do this step. Um, but I am going to move on and start painting in the boots. Okay, so let me know if I'm going too fast. Um, the next part with the boots, we do have to paint kind of fast so our colors blend in together nicely. So I guess I'll give you the lowdown on what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do like a very light um, base coat. What color is it? What color is what? Um, are you talking about this line right here? Because if it, it, if you are, it's the same aqua color, the blue plus teal color. Or are you asking about green? Um, okay. So, uh, what we're going to do is a quick, like, pure teal color over and light. We're not going to cake on the paint really thick. We're going to keep it light. Um, I'm going to do it over the whole boot. I'm going to avoid these lines so I can still see them. And then I'm going to do a shadow on the left side of each boot and down these little lines. And then we're going to do a highlight. The line you did, yep, so this is blue plus teal again. So this aqua color, so blue and teal or turquoise. Those two colors make this color. Um, so the same color that we did when we outlined our boot. Okay, so I'm gonna start painting in my boots. Let me know if I should not be doing this. <laughs> I know there's a delay, so I'll, I'll take a little sip while I'm waiting for you guys to reply. But let me know if you're ready to paint your boots. <clears throat> okay. So. Hmm. Okay, nobody's commenting, so I'm going to do it unless somebody comments right now. And I know there's a delay, but I didn't think it was that long of a delay. It's about a minute. Is it really? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be patient. Nancy says ready. Okay, <laughs> I'm going for it. Yeah. YouTube delay is about 30 seconds. The Facebook delay is about a minute. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. Heavy duty. That's so wild that it's different. Mm -hmm. um, Patsy's is ready. Okay, we're going. So, first coat uh, on the boots. We're just using pure teal turquoise, this color, this teal color that we have. Um, I'm going to use a little bit more water, like a tiny, I guess not a ton of water, but enough to help my paint spread. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to do this over the whole, or should we do it in sections? You know what? I lied. Let's do it in sections. So I'm going to add this teal color right at the top of the boot. I'm going to leave like a tiny gap where the boots connect. Um, just so I can add a little shadow line. So, easy first step, all we're doing, we're going to do this in sections. So top, next <laughs> section, next one, and then the bottoms. So easy first step, all I did was fill it in with teal and a little bit of white. Now I'm going to mix blue and teal again, so just like what Nancy asked, um, to make this aqua color. Um, and I'm going to add this shadow right on the left side of each boot. And since my paint is still wet, it kind of blends in really nicely. Don't use too much water. Otherwise, it'll turn your paint transparent. Ooh, that went out kind of far. So on the left side of each boot, I'm just going to add this darker aqua color in. And I'm swiping it. And since my paint is still wet, it's nice and blended. And I'm going to do the same thing right where the two boots connect. That looks a little too blue. So you can see on both boots, on the left side, um, I have that shadow now. And if your shadow is too dark or too harsh, maybe there's like too harsh of a line and it's not blended, easy fix. Um, just dip back into your teal and kind of repeat the step but the opposite way. So I'm going to swipe some teal into my blue. And you can see that it's nice and blended again. So we want this nice and blended like this. Um, so there's a shadow on the left side of each boot. Okay. Um, let me know if I'm going too fast. I'm going to do the same thing, but with a highlight now. So I'm going to mix white and teal to make a light teal color. And I'm going to add it on the right side of the boot now. So it's going to be nice. You'll be able to see the difference um, between this little edge where the two boots connect. So. Here I go. I have white on my brush. I'm going to bring it over to here and mix a light teal color. So, once again, <laughs> so repetitive. Um, just going to add this highlight on the right side of the boot, swipe it in towards the middle, and your paint should still be wet and blended. And it'll blend is what I'm saying. 
Okay. Before we move on, um, I'm imagining that our light source is coming from the top right corner. So we are going to also add a highlight to the top, the very, very top of the boot. So I'm going to just do a swipe of this light teal color across the top. And then with my brush, oops, too much paint. If you have too much paint on your brush, just wipe it off on your paper towel. Um, but then after I do my highlight at the very top, I'm just going to try to blend it in. And I'm actually going to add like the tiniest bit of, it's almost, it's very, very pale teal color. So I added even more white to my light teal color and I'm going to add it on the very far right side of the boot. Just because I couldn't see that highlight, I guess. Just blending it out a little bit more. I also want my boots to be more teal than blue um, because I like the teal color. And I brought my blue over quite a bit, like it almost went all the way over to here. So easy fix, I just added some teal over the top, some light teal. There. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next section, but what's nice about this is that you, now that you've done the first step, all of these steps are the exact same. I'm going to be putting the shadow on the left side of the boot and the highlight on the right. So that's the only thing that you really need to like remember, I guess. So first step again is the base coat. It's like a fast, just pure teal color. And I'm painting around all the dark blue that we painted before. Um, don't use too much water for this step, um, but enough, it's kind of like a happy medium. You have to find, or you have to add enough water to help your paint spread, um, but not too much to the point where it's going to be like too wet, hard to work with, and turn your paint transparent. Um, after I have this done, I'm going to be mixing my blue and teal again to make that aqua, the darker aqua color for the shadow. Um, I guess another tip that I would have would be keep the shadow, I mean, so if we look back at this picture, there's a shadow here, but it's not pure dark blue, it's a subtle shadow. So um, try to keep it l on the lighter side, I guess. So don't add too much blue. So let's see, that looks a little dark, but I think I'll be okay with that. Um, Cause I'm gonna add some light teal over it. And there's kind of a glare, but you can see my shadow. Um, and I forgot to paint the side, so I'm going to do that quick. I got a little excited to start painting my other boot, or my whole boot. So I'm going to paint this side. Um, also, let me know if I'm going too slow or too fast. I don't know. Nobody's commented in a while, so maybe it's too fast. Um, okay, so I have this, I think I had a little bit too much water, so I'm going to keep working on this side of the boot because I can see my paint is turning transparent. I want it to dry a little bit, so I'm going to keep working on my left boot now, um, and I'm going to be mixing my highlight, which is white plus some teal, so white and teal.
and this goes right on that far right side is going to be the brightest highlight um, but since I want my teal or since I want my boot to be like a turquoise teal color I am bringing this over to blend into the middle so this medium teal color so you can see I'm not only putting it on the right side I'm bringing it throughout since my paint is wet it still blends nicely Um, and I'm also going to do, so now I painted over these little, what would you call these rectangle things? Um, they're probably labels of some kind. Okay, I thought it was a label too, yeah. So I accidentally painted over my label, so I'm just going to redefine that rectangle shape by mixing that aqua color again. might be a little bit more blue than it was last time but I think I'm okay with it <laughs> um, if you do think it's a little too dark just add some teal over the top there okay um, I'm gonna add the shadow to my left boot now and I'm gonna bring this shadow right up against that highlight that I just added. Do you want me to zoom in? Let me zoom in. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be bringing this shadow, so once again that aqua color, right up against my highlight from the left boot. And I'm going to swipe this shadow over, so horizontal brush strokes. Okay. So, now you can see it's like kind of having, like getting a little bit more dimension. Um, this side clearly needs that highlight. So I'm going to add that highlight. A mixed teal and white. I'm gonna blend that shadow seemed a little harsh, so I'm just gonna blend over it. Okay. Um, it needs a little bit more of a brighter highlight, so I'm adding more white to this light teal color. You can see. And I'm adding it to the far, far right side of each boot. Okay, let me know how it's going. I'm here for you. <laughs> um, and then this label is looking a little, you can kind of see I painted over it a couple times. So I'm just going to kind of outline it with this lighter color and hope that it stands out a little bit more. Okay, so <laughs> I 
keep painting it like pure blue and then I put teal over the top and then it blends in too much. Man. So, yeah. You know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so I was waiting for somebody to comment, but if you're too busy, I totally get it. Uh, <laughs> but I just uh, added this little shadow or er, line underneath. Okay, this is turning out good. It's a little bit darker than my original one that I made, but I like this teal color. So I'm going to keep going with it. Kind of like how stands like pops um, against that background. Um, so I'm gonna keep going, do the exact same thing that we've been doing, except with the bottom portion. So, ooh, might be a little too much water. Okay, I'm leaving a little bit of a gap between the two boots so I know where to put that dark shadow. Okay, I am loving this painting. So mixing that dark shadow color again, that aqua color. I'm adding this right on the left side of my boot and swiping it in towards the center. So the bottom is gonna have a little bit more of a shadow. So right along this line, I guess, <laughs> of, this, of the sole. And I think this is going to help make the shoe look more like it's the right foot instead of like two left feet or something. Um, so I'm cleaning my brush. Oh, why did I do that? I'm also going to add the shadow to, oh, too much blue, to the right boot. I always forget. And remember, horizontal brush strokes kind of swipe this shadow into the middle area of the foot. Okay, so it's a little bit darker on the right foot and I'm okay with that for now. I'm just gonna add in the highlight. How are your boots going? Oh my gosh, I feel like I've asked you that a thousand times. And I apologize, but I'm curious. Let me know if there's like anything, like if you have a problem, let's problem solve, I can help you. So vertical brush stroke of the highlight. Um, I am gonna ease up on the highlight about right where the boot starts to curve right here. So when it starts curving um, right here, I'm gonna stop my highlight and then I'm gonna do a horizontal highlight. Um, can't really see it, it's, my paint is a little too wet, but. I'm going to add a brighter highlight at the bottom. But you can see how I stopped my highlight here. So right in this middle, kind of like where the 
you know when your shoes crease <laughs> like where your toes bend um there's it's just that medium teal color and then I continued my highlight with this like horizontal line at the bottom and it's not that bright of a highlight which I'm gonna fix um, after I add the same color to the right side of my boot or my right boot okay and then same a shorter horizontal line for the highlight on the right boot right here So, two things that I'm going to do before I move on to the bottom, um, I'm going to define this line a little bit with my, that darker blue color again, um, or darker aqua color, and then I'm also going to add a brighter highlight, kind of like this highlight right here. Um, ooh, this side kind of needs a little bit of a highlight too. But after I'm done painting the entire thing, I think I'm going to go in and add a little bit more highlights over the whole boots, or both boots. Um, just so they look nice and bright and gives it a little bit more form. Um, what do I want to do first? Let's do the dark, yeah, I'm going to mix that aqua color again. Do those X's because I want a thinner line this time. Um, and I'm just going to add that little seam. And then if it got a little too thick, you can just paint over it with some teal. So this one got a little thick. I'm just going to dip into a teal, light teal. Kind of cover up half of that line so it looks thinner. Okay, and then now that I have the light teal on my brush, I'm going to add that highlight. Ooh, looks a little too blue for some reason. And then remember to stop about halfway and then do that horizontal highlight at the very tip of the boot. Okay, so the sh computer's making it look darker than what it is. Um, I'm gonna add some brighter teal up here again. If you ever need to like go back and fix anything, um, I would do it like whenever you feel like it. I guess I wouldn't wait for me to say like, now's the time for touch-ups. Especially if you are um, like ahead of me. I'm just going to add my paint dried um, before I had a chance to blend it in. So I'm just going to add some darker blue and try to blend it into that shadow or into that highlight that I just added. And if it's still not blending, I'll just dip into some teal. Kind of help it blend. Um, okay. 
So I could probably keep messing with this like all day. Um, but I'm going to move on, cover up the bottom, and then work on my flowers, and then go back into the boots. Um, we're going to add a pure white highlight. Okay, I lied. It'll be like a watered-down white with maybe like a dot of teal in it to the right side and the bottoms. Um, so we will come back to our boots, but right now, blending-wise, if there's anything you're unhappy with, I would do that now before we move um, onto the flowers again. Um, but I'm going to start doing the last layer, I guess, for the very bottoms of the boots. So base coat of this teal. Um, I think I'm just going to do one row at a time. Oh. Um, if we uh, were playing bingo, um, somebody would probably have a bingo by now because here's a second paper towel that I'm using. I dripped paint on my canvas, so while you all are getting possibly caught up, I'm just gonna paint over those little drops. Um, okay, so after I did my base coat of teal, same thing, go in, do your shadows. Okay, um, that got pretty dark, and before I do my highlight uh, with the same color on my brush, I'm going to define that line just like we did with this line right here. Be a little bit more blue. Okay, so I actually defined or re-outlined both lines with the darker blue or aqua color, whatever. Okay, and now highlight. So white and teal. Start on the right side and swipe towards the middle. Or all the way across. This one I'll probably stop a little closer. Okay. Um, now I'm going to do the heel and this little, the very last one. So shadow, there isn't much of a shadow on this heel now that I look at it. Um, I am going to add, because I don't really see, sorry, <laughs> I am going to add this little line down here so I can tell the difference between the heel and the, I guess the sole or whatever. Um, so kind of like a diagonal line, like that, and then shadow. There will be more of a shadow on the right boot. Uh, 
Okay, this is looking good. So highlight. And then we're moving on to the daisies. So um, if you have any questions about blending and the boots, now's a good time to ask before we move on. Um, or I guess if you have a question, I'll answer it at any time. So I don't know what I'm saying. But um, I am going to move on to my flowers soon. Just because I want to, sometimes it's nice to take a break, work on something else, and come back with like fresh eyes, is what I call them. Ooh, that's too late. Hmm. Yep, I definitely need to take a break from the boots and come back. So. Otherwise, I feel like I'll be painting over things <laughs> like the whole day. Okay. So, see, now I feel like that's too much of a highlight, but I'm moving on. Um, I'll give you a, s a minute or so to get caught up. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't realize this thing went away. I don't know if that's helpful, but... <laughs> Um, okay. Cheers, people. So I'm cleaning my brush out really, really well. I'm going to be using pure white because we're going to do the base coat for the daisies. Um, so if you need to or I mean if you're done with your boots right now um, and we're kind of waiting to move on you can always go get clean water um, I'm not going to it shouldn't matter that much but okay so daisies clean brush um, barely any water do those X's Okay, sorry, it looks frozen on Facebook. Hmm. Okay, so I think we're good. Let me move up. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move on, do my daisies. Um, pure white, barely any water on my brush, do your X's on your plates. And we're going to, so I'm using a filbert brush. If you have a round brush, so like a small, let me pull it up here. So if you have a pack of new brushes, ooh, this one will be nice too. So any round brush is going to also help you get the daisy kind of look. Um, if you're using a flat brush like this that has a flat tip, um, just kind of hold it at the side so when you're painting it makes that rounded um, shape for the top of the petal. So don't use it like this, use it on its side. Petal tips with Maddie, I guess. <laughs> Um, so I have my filbert brush and I'm going to start doing my um, daisies. I'm going to move this down a little bit. So all you do, so if you need to put like a little dot for the center of the flower, you can do that. But um, I actually want it a little down. Let's move it to here. So I have a dot for like the center of my flower and then I'm holding my brush on its side and I'm just gonna like tap and kind of swipe my brush notice how when I'm going when I'm wor working my way around the circle I'm continuously ooh, what words 
um, like rotating my brush too. So always the bristles are pointed outwards away from the circle. So the top of the bristles, if you need to rotate your canvas, you can. It's kind of, yeah, harder on the table. But so there, there's the base coat. Now you can see wh why we need to do two coats of white. Uh, where do I want my next one to go? I want to cover up this green. So I think I'm going to have one like right here. Um, another one. I'm going to have four daisies this time. So just since my canvas is on a square, it's going to look, have like a different composition feel, I guess, than the rectangular canvas shape. Um, but I would just follow your if you have an art kit, that's what's nice about those um, pre-sketched canvases. Okay, so got my second flower. Um, this one I'm going to try to keep the longer petals closer to the bottom just because I don't want to overlap <laughs> my tulip because it's going to be like a pain. Or I'm too lazy to paint over it. So now that the longer petals are kind of faced towards us, um, I'll be able to see. Er, um, it kind of looks like it's angled is what I was getting at. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do a second coat yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. So this one I kind of want tilted down so that it's facing up. So I'm just going to do like four petals for this one because I think this one's kind of facing like that way. Um, okay. So, oh my gosh, are the comments broken? Hello, people. <laughs> um, cheers because you're all working so hard. I think, because nobody's commented. <laughs> oh, okay. So, let me know if I'm going too fast. I'm going to move on and start building up some layers on our tulips. Um, this is exactly like how we did the boots. So, I'm going to, we're going to do three layers, just like the boots. We're going to do a pure yellow, a light yellow, so basically just white. Um, and we're going to mix yellow and what yellow and brown to make the shadows. So we're going to use that to define the petals, especially for the ones that are like these two where they're kind of closed still. Um, so yeah, still here. Cool. Let me open up my... <laughs> so fun fact, if you're wondering, I can't see comments on our computer for some reason. <laughs> or can't see who says it, so let me just... Patsy, thank you! <laughs> okay. So, um, but yes, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our boots, three layers, or three different colors to build up those layers, and let us start with, hmm, when I painted the original painting, I think I did light yellow. That is, yep, we're doing it backwards. So we're doing the opposite of what we did with the boots. So with the boots, we started with medium, then we went dark, and then we went light. Um, this time we're going to go light, medium, dark. And medium is going to be this pure yellow color. So. So I'm using pure white on my brush. And at the very tops of my petal, I'm just going to kind of drag really rough, um, random kind of streaking on some white lines almost to the very tops of, right now, just the center flower or the center petal. So the petal that's like facing us, I guess. And this for this step, we're really going to want to loosen up with our brush strokes. 
so it's not going to be super nice and blended. We want to have the streakiness of like a natural flower, I guess. Um, but yeah. Um, and I'm, now I'm going to add a white highlight to the tops of every petal. So top of every petal. So you can see how I'm starting at the top and I'm just kind of swiping down. Don't think about this too much. Um, it's going to look weird until we add all three of those layers. So don't worry, just follow along like with where I'm putting these highlights. Which is basically just the top of each petal. So I know that went really fast. Um, I'm going to kind of speed this up because I want Oh, it says one person watching. Okay, let me double check that nothing, nothing bad happened. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're good. Um. Oh, there. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So I have my whites done. Um, another thing that I did that I didn't really mention was, so I put it on the tops of each petal, um, brought it down towards the bottom of the petals. Um, but another thing you, you can do with the highlight is kind of, oh, too much water. Define where each petal goes by adding a swipe of white. So I'll show you again. So if I wanted to, well, here's a good example. So I wanted to show that this was the end of one petal and the next petal right here doesn't have that swipe of white. Um, doesn't really make sense with the w <laughs> with our light source, but I don't think it matters that much. Well, I guess I think it looks fine. <laughs> but so I'm going to move on with bright yellow. So just pure yellow. I do have some white on my brush, but this yellow is so bright that I don't think it matters that much. But now I'm doing the opposite. So I'm starting from the bottom and I'm swiping up. Keep this streaky. Also, bring it towards the edge of, oh, that looks so bright on the camera. Um, it's not that bright. <laughs> but um, we're probably going to end up doing a lot of back and forth. Okay, this computer screen is making me second guess it. So I added a little bit of white, but do what you think looks nice, okay? Trust your instincts. <laughs> but I'm going to do the same with the bottom. So swipe up from the bottom, keep it streaky. Um, I'm not putting the same color of this bright yellow in the same exact spot. Uh, ooh. I'm going to add, I have a pencil line showing up, so I'm just going to add a background petal there, I guess. So swipe up from the bottom. This one I'm doing like two parentheses shapes to kind of outline that petal. And then also swipe up from the bottom. Okay. Hmm. Does that come out too far? Okay. So now I have my light and my medium coat. I'm actually going to go back in with the the original base coat color that we did, which was a light yellow. 
So we did pure white, we did, well, the very beginning, we did a light yellow, like a very light yellow, um, and then we did pure white, and then we did basically pure yellow, but now, okay, need some more white. But now I'm gonna go back in with that in-between color, so this very, very pale light yellow color. I'm just gonna kind of scribble in between where the white and that bright yellow meet. It's gonna soften up those lines. Yes, okay. Okay, so I'm liking how these flowers look. Let me know if you have questions. So, cheers, I guess. <laughs> um, and remember, you can always like go back and add or fix something. Um, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to, before we move on and add, nope, I lied. We're going to mix yellow and brown and we're going to add the little shadows to our petals now. Let me know if I'm going too fast. I did that light, that very pale in-between color um, really fast. So let me know if I'm going too fast, I guess. <laughs> Okay. I could probably do this all day, just painting, painting it white, and then, whoops, I painted it too white. Okay. Because, trust me, that happened with this painting too. Mainly with the boots though. I was like, I painted it really dark, and then I, I didn't like it, so then I painted it really light, and then I painted it dark again. Huh. <sighs> So, happens a lot. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna mix yellow and brown. Um, yellow and a dot of brown. Let me see, how do I wanna do this? I'll bring a tiny bit of yellow, because this is all the yellow I have, so I don't wanna waste it. Um, However, too much brown is going to make like this mm, kind of nasty green color, I think. So, more yellow than brown. And let me just put a dot on here to see if it even shows up. Um, yeah. Maybe a tiny bit more brown. So yellow and brown, let's see. Okay, that one shows up a little bit more. Um, my bristles are kind of getting all spread out again. So do your X's. Okay, that paint already dried. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to mix some more. Um, so now, let me pull this up again. So this color, we're not painting on top of our petals, we're painting around the petals. So this is gonna be like the shadows from, you know, inside the flower that are gonna help define the petals a little bit more. So do not put this on your petals. But I'm going to be starting, let's see, my hand. Yeah, I'll start from the left and work my way towards the right. So I'm just outlining basically every petal. You can bring it down a little bit. Oh, that looks a little funky. Okay, and then for the most part, I'm gonna put it like inside the flower and then parentheses shapes like this 
on the outside. Okay. Hmm, that one looks a little funky. I might either go back and add hmm pure white to kind of hide it. Yeah, I don't hmm. I don't know. Might go back and fix that one later. But so this is going to be on the outside of each petal. Try to keep your brush strokes really loose. Um, we're not going for like perfectly outlined, um, even lines. Okay, I think I accidentally added too much brown. And we shall see. Eh, maybe not. Ooh, that got a little thick, so I'll paint over that one. So I am putting more of the color on the bottoms, and I kind of like that. So I'm going to put it on. Remember where our, like, our light source is coming from, so top right corner. So I am going to put this brownish yellow at the bottoms. Okay, um, so I added this shadow, or the outlines, and I like how it defined my petals, but now I think I'm, hmm, I think I'm going to go in with some light yellow again, and definitely cover up that one, because that one got th really wide, I guess. Or even just like soften it a little bit. Okay. Um, so, I accidentally added too much light yellow on that one. Um, one thing that we are going to do. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, before we finish our flowers, we'll, um, what we're going to do is kind of dip into some pure yellow and streak on, it, it'll either be pure yellow or white, so I'm going to streak on really thick lines of paint like these, so you can see I did both, I did a really thick prominent line with white and then um, once I was done with that I went over it with some yellow, um, and I'm going to do that and that's going to help kind of give more layers to our petals so that we can see that, oh, this petal lays on top of this one and stuff like that. But before <laughs> we do that, I'm actually going to move on, paint my second coat on my daisies, and then um, we're going to add the highlights to our boots. So clean your brush, um, pure white not a lot of water and I have a lot of water on my brush so I'm just going to tap it off. So we don't want a lot of water for this step. And you've done this before but now I'm just going to paint over exactly what I painted the first time. And the second coat will help show or help these white petals show up. Make it less transparent. We don't want to see the green. Okay, um. speaking of transparent, I think this is going to blow your minds. <laughs> so it was my boyfriend's birthday yesterday and we went over to his mom's house and she has a fish tank and it, she got these fish that are completely transparent or translucent I don't know what kind of word you want to use for a fish but they're like these tiny little fish and they're completely see-through 
So you can watch, and it's kind of creeps me out a little bit. You can see their spine and stuff, like their vertebrae, I don't know, um, their ribs. <laughs> Super odd. Never seen a fish like that before. But you can see it swallow the, you know how the little fish food <laughs> are like bright colors? You can see it swallow that and like go into its belly. Ugh. Yeah. So, fun fact there. I bet you're all wondering that. Okay, <laughs> so I finished my second coat on my daisies. Um, they might need one more. They, I don't think so, actually. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Maybe not this one. Um, before I move on, let's add the little centers. So, I'm going to add that brownish, so yellow and brown this yellow and brown color coat my brush with it and then I'm just gonna tap my brush at the center of each um, daisy for the little daisy center thing hmm. This flower is getting really, really lost. Um, so while you all get caught up, because I'm sure you don't have a, f well, if you do have a flower like this, you can probably do the same thing that I'm doing. But I'm sure you're all getting caught up right now. Or if I'm going too slow, just let me know. But I'm gonna kind of define these petals with a silver color so I can actually see this flower. And if I don't like it, I think I might just paint over it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. Okay, that looks better. I think it's because my background is so light, which I didn't realize how light it was until... I'm just going <laughs> to darken it a little bit. <laughs> okay. There. You can see it now. Okay. So hopefully you're caught up. Um, I'm going to add the highlight to my boots now. So what I'm going to do is thin out my white paint by adding water. And then depending on how bright that looks, I'm going to add some teal. And this will probably vary too. So depending on how dark your boots are, um, a bright white highlight across like the, the boot is gonna look a little funky. So you might wanna add some teal to it. Depending on how dark your boot is, I would probably add like a dot of teal. And you can see like I just added a dot of teal and it's a very, very light, pale teal color. Um, so I'm going to do a, that might not be enough water, actually. We do want to thin this out a lot. So when it dries, it dries a little bit transparent and it'll give more of that like rubber look. Um, but all I'm going to do are really fast swipes. Oops, I cannot paint inside the lines. Oh, that looks so bright on the monitor. Um, but you can see how transparent my paint is. Hopefully you can see. Um, so when it dries, it should be a little bit less prominent. But if it's not, I'll just paint over it with some teal. Okay. <laughs> so um, another thing you can do to kind of soften it is I missed you doing the bottom of the boots. Oh, the dark. Also, my phone's going to... So this is how I read your guys' comments. Because um, my lovely assistant is missing. Um, sorry. Sorry. 
Oh, Nancy. Okay. So, the are you talking about the very bottom, like these little things? Because I'm going to do a second coat on these anyways, because I painted over them and whatnot. But if you missed this dark color, it's blue plus brown. But let me know. Like, are you talking about these little things, like the rubber sole things? Or are you talking about the very bottom, like the shadow or the very, very bottom of the boot? Um, but what I was going to say is if you want to soften it before it dries, just take your a clean, dry brush and go over that paint right on the edge to soften it. But mine dried, so it didn't work. And it did dry pretty transparent, so I think that'll be okay. Also, don't forget to, and I almost did, um, a highlight on the tops. Oh, no soles like the heel. So this one I just painted teal with a little bit of a highlight on it. Um, so this one was pretty easy. Otherwise, for these little, like, these things, they are kind of the same where I just started with teal and then did a shadow and then a highlight but my, sha my highlight went pretty far over. So let me know if that was a good <laughs> answer to your question. <laughs> okay, but don't forget about the little highlight on the label. And that looks a little too bright, so. Um, do you have, okay, okay, um, let me know if you have any questions. We're about to wrap up the painting, so, um, let me know if you have questions before we end it. I'm, while I wait, because you, maybe you all are getting caught up again, but while I wait, I'm going to do a, another coat on my daisies, and if you feel like you need another coat, you, but you aren't really caught up, what's nice is that you can just do this anytime. So I would worry about like the stuff where you might have questions on because all you're doing is painting over something you've already painted. So I would worry, like focus more on stuff you have questions on, like if you're still outlining your petals or something, because you can always do this after the video. Two. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm adding thicker um, white, I guess, to it. Um, and then another thing that I'm going to do before I finish, well, two things. So like I mentioned before, I'm going to go back in and kind of finish the petals by adding those really thick brush strokes. So I'll show you, I have a lot of pure yellow on my brush. No, let me start with white. I'm gonna do white again. So kind of like what I just did with the daisies where I'm, you know, defining the petals a little bit more with this thicker coat of paint. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to our tulips. So at the top, um, or sides of your tulips, And then these brush strokes, I'm going to kind of keep them a little bit looser so that they look like petals are overlapping each other. Um, like These are not perfectly outlined petals. Some of them look like they're kind of floating, like these ones. Now I'm going to do the same with the yellow, thicker yellow paint.
Okay. So I liked how those turned out. Just really fast, really loose brush strokes. Um, and then the second to last thing that I'm going to do, so I added yellow or that yellowish brown, but now I'm going to dip my brush into pure brown, so just pure brown. And at the bottoms of the centers, I'm just going to bottom and left side of these little like yellow centers. I'm going to just tap the brown because then it gives them a little bit more of like um, defined daisy center. And that's just a small detail, so I'm not worrying if I'm actually like accidentally painting over my white petal. Um, but yeah, okay. So let me know if you have any questions because this is my last, let me double check. Yeah, this is my last step. So um, I guess the one thing that I see that's different is I don't have any of these little petals or leaves. So let me know if you want me to go over how to make those. Um, or I'll do it right now, actually. Don't tell my boss I'm doing this. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just painting on the back of this canvas. <laughs> okay, um, but just paint a line, and then all you do is tap your brush. So tap your brush, kind of zigzag, or like go over your stem. And that's how you make those little, whatever they are, leaf leafy stem things. Um, actually, this turned out so cute, I might add one. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's just so much. I already have so much. I don't want to overwork it by adding. <sighs> adding some more. Isn't she still standing <laughs> right by you? Yes. <laughs> Who said that? I, I bet it was Nancy. I bet it was. Yeah. I'm calling yeah, it. Nancy, yes, she is right by me. So that's why it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last thing that I'm going to do before I guess we call it is, <laughs> I read Nancy's post again, <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, um, is the shadow thing and the little, the very bottom of the boot and the brown shadow. So I'm going to mix whew, blue and brown. And if you have a, oh, words, if you have a filbert brush like this, it's going to be really easy for you to do this step. If you don't have a filbert brush, I guess it'll still be pretty easy. All you do is draw like a half circle shape. Okay, remember, when you're mixing this dark color, add more brown than blue. So add more brown than blue, and then, oh, sorry, my head. Just going to add a really thin line under the boot like that. Um, and then I'm going to add the little scallops just by, and I kind of, my, I have a shaky hand so I have to hold my wrist or sometimes I'll like hold my fingers, I guess. So right now I'm holding my fingers. Um, but there's three on each. However, even though there's three on this one, do not try to squeeze three in, especially if you think it's going to not fit or if it's going to look weird. Because nobody's going to know if you're actually supposed to have three or if you end up having four or two. But I'm going to start um, on the first set of, I don't know, whatever this is. Um, and I'm going to start the closest. to this little ledge. And all I'm doing is using this like half, this arced bristle shape to make Hmm, that looks good. Okay. And then same thing, I'm starting on the far left. Okay. And then on this one, you can see that I need to kind of 
square them off at the bottom or straighten them out or whatever. So I'm just going to hold my brush horizontally. Kind of tap that line at the bottom. Okay. So, next easy, probably the easiest step of our whole painting. So, hope you're all excited. I'll cheers to that. We're going to add the shadow or like the mud under the boots. Um, so, I'm going to use a little bit more water with this step and, okay, not that much water. You can see that is way too much water. And mix it into my brown paint. Do your X's, smooth out those bristles. And then, let me zoom out for this step. Sorry, people. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm going to hold my brush horizontally. And if you've painted, like, water before. Ooh, I'm only grabbing this because it's right here. But if you painted this painting with me, like, last weekend or two weekends ago, I don't remember. Um, when we do reflections or any horizontal line, really, I always tell people it's all in your shoulder, so you should be moving your brush like this, not like this, because then people kind of make like rainbow brush strokes this way, so it's all in your shoulder like this. But I have my watered down brown. You can see how transparent it is because it's showing like the paint that's dried underneath it. So watered down brown is important because we don't want this super dark. Um, but right underneath, I'm going to do horizontal lines. Um, right underneath my boots. Oh my gosh, do I say um a lot? A little. Dang! A little a lot, a lot a little. <laughs> How do I... Uh, <laughs> Okay, new word. Instead of saying um, what do I say? Cheers. Che cheers? <laughs> well, okay. Um, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I'm also bringing my... <laughs> I just made myself laugh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm bringing the shadow up. So it kind of looks like the shadow's behind the boots a little bit too. Ooh, that got a little dark. Uh, and same, I guess, with the right side of the painting. Holy cow. I didn't realize how high up I brought that shadow. So on this painting, I bring the shadow up to about that line. Um, do what you, th do what makes you happy, I guess. I, I'm a little scared to bring it up that high on my painting, so maybe I'll just bring it up. To about there. Okay. Oh, that looks so dark on the camera. It's not actually that dark. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. So, and if it does get too dark, kind of just dip into pure water. Pure water. Paint over it a little bit. I'm kind of pushing kind of hard. <laughs> just said, wow. It's been a long day. <laughs> and then if you want to, you could just tap it off. That is like... Mm, if something accidentally happens where you just use pure brown and it's super, super dark. So I wouldn't do that too much. Look at me getting brown on my boots. So that is like if you really need to fix something kind of thing. So. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so this was the last step. Um, holy cow, I'm so surprised at how dark that looks on the camera. But this was the last step, so if you have any questions, I guess now is the time to ask. Uh, the painting was last Friday, Maddie. Ooh, who said that? Oh, sorry. Boston, you were out. Nancy, thank you. Wait, Nancy, did you paint along? Isn't, yeah. Yeah, that's a fun painting. I like that painting a lot. That one turned out good, too. I swear I'm paying attention, Maddie. I really, truly am. Yeah, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I was saying something. Another thing you can do, because I guess I don't want to end this yet, <laughs> is if you wanted to um, lighten up your gray, you could dip back into white, kind of add some white to the edges or something. But um, if you do have questions, I usually like stick or, or somehow I usually see your questions. Nancy, no, I painted two weeks ago with you. What painting was two weeks? What? Oh no, <laughs> you don't have to. What was two weeks ago, Nancy? <laughs> Oh, it was bright dandelions. Bright dandelions. Mm -hmm. Yes, fun painting. I remember. I remember. Next Nancy week, has. So, do you know what next week is? Uh, spring llama. Spring llama. Oh, do you want to grab? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I think somebody like requested a kids painting. Maybe. On uh, Friday night, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're doing this kids. Well, is it a kid? It's a kids. It's, it's a kids an painting. Anybody. It's an anybody painting. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but how cute is it? We're doing spring llama next weekend. Who doesn't like llamas? I have a llama. Or, oh, not a real llama. It's a clay one that I made. And its name is Lutunda. <laughs> Lutunda 100. <laughs> I bet you all needed to know that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end this now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to end it on that note. <laughs> um, okay. So if you do have questions, I usually end up seeing comments anyways, but post your pictures to this Facebook page because I love seeing them and yeah, I want to see them. Okay. Okay, it's been fun Friday. Have a great weekend. You're all awesome. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>